In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can earn some passive income with your Aave tokens by staking them on the Aave platform. I'll be sharing with you the pros and cons of Aave staking. I'll also be sharing with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can buy some Aave tokens in order to start staking on the platform. I'd like to thank Aave for sponsoring this video. Really love the platform. And yeah, I've been using it even before they were sponsoring me. But yeah, make sure you check them out either now or at the end of the video. Aave price has increased by a crazy amount. I think at the moment it costs around $440. And last time I made a video about Aave, well, it was only around $130 or $150. I'm on Uniswap, I'm connected with my Wallet Connect um, Trust Wallet. And here I'm actually gonna be buying Aave tokens using USDC, but you can also use ETH. And here I'm just gonna select USDC. And I'm actually gonna select here the token. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Buy one Aave token, so here you just type in one and that would cost me $459. So I click on swap. And what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna open up my wallet on my phone and I'm gonna to have to confirm the transaction. But I'm not actually gonna go through with it in this video because the transaction fee at the moment is far too high for me. Another option for buying Aave tokens would be to buy them on Binance where the fees are just subject to Binance or not the Ethereum blockchain. Now that you bought your Aave token either on Uniswap or on Binance, and if you bought it on Binance, make sure you send it to your Ethereum wallet. You can head over to Aave.com, click on enter app. You're gonna to have to select the version that you'd like to use. And I recommend using Aave version two because that's the newest version. You click on that and then you can actually select the wallet of your choice. I've got Wallet Connect. And it's gonna ask me for a confirmation with a QR code. Uh, actually scan that. And I'm already logged in without a password or anything like complicated. I don't really have to remember anything. I think that's the fantastic thing. So here you can see I'm earning 6.84% on my funds on Aave. But what I wanna share with you is actually how you can stake. So you click on staking. And if you've got Aave tokens, you're gonna to have them available to stake. At the moment, I don't have Aave tokens on my trust wallet because the Ethereum fees are way too high at the moment. But then what you would do is just click on max and then you click on stake. The current staking APY is 6.14% and the cooldown period is 10 days. And I'll explain to you what this actually means for you. Now, staking, on Aave actually serves a really important purpose and that's securing the Aave protocol. Basically, when you're staking on the Aave protocol, you're earning a premium to secure the protocol. And that's where current max slashing risk um, comes into play. And this is really important. And you have to be aware that there is a risk and that's the slashing risk. And what this risk actually means is something should happen to the, the protocol, should there be a hack, smart contract failure, and other people's funds gets lost. Well, basically the staked amount is used to then cover those losses and that's the max slashing. So for any amount that you are staking, you can actually lose 30%. So that's something that's really important to keep into consideration. And the premium that they're getting paid in order to offer this security is this staking APY. So with this APY comes additional risk and you have to be aware of that. And I think if you're pretty comfortable with the platform, if you believe it's super, super secure, then I think it's a no brainer to start staking, but you have to be aware of the risk. I mean, the Aave platform did have like five different security audits and they're doing security audits constantly to make sure that um, it's safe. There's no issues with the smart contracts. And they've also got a really good bug bounty, but it's still something really important that you need to know. And also 
to prevent everyone from withdrawing all of their staked tokens right away you've got a cooldown period when you withdraw you're going to have to wait 10 days to actually be able to remove the staked Aave tokens to your wallet and that's about it when you're staked you will see this Aave staked amount and this is the claimable Aave basically the rewards that you got and when you started staking you will receive a token code st Aave, which represents the staked Aave. another thing that you can also do is when you've got these Aave tokens you can actually participate in the governance where a lot of protocol changes are being voted upon and you can decide on the future of the Aave platform to people all around the world allowing them to um, lock up their USDC, their die, and earn fantastic rates, which you would never find anywhere in a bank account. So I think that's great. I mean, I'm, I've got my hard-earned cash in there, and it's earning a pretty good interest rate. Last but not least, I'd like to share with you a fantastic teaser that Stani and Kulachov shared on Twitter, and that's about possibility that there might be in the future an Aave credit card that would allow you to spend the tokens that you have on the Aave platform. And I think that's fantastic. That would actually bridge the gap between the normal world. It would allow me to have um, my bank account con completely in the, de the decentralized financial space and pay my bills, pay some groceries using a credit card. Now, it's not nothing official yet, but he's teasing with it. And I think it's it's probably something that's in the works. So. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Sorry for not actually showing the whole process with my um, smartphone and transactions. At the moment, the Ethereum blockchain is super clogged and it's going to cost uh, an arm and a leg to actually perform a transaction. So staking at the moment just makes sense if you're going with a lot of money into the, onto the platform. So maybe $5,000, $10,000 or more. Otherwise you have to wait until um, there's a little bit less transactions on the blockchain and you find a, a time slot that is uh, super cheap in terms of gas fees. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.